Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG. So is the red from your digital PyStar dashboard burning out your retinas and you would prefer something as calm ocean blue? Or maybe it's not bright enough for you and you want hot pink. Did you know you can change that and customize it? That's today on HOA Ham. All right, so here we are at our PyStar digital dashboard, and we're going to go through the process of changing our background color from red to something else. I'm gonna change it to a blue color. Go to configuration, click, and you're going to get your sign in, pi-star, as you know, is the username, and the standard password is raspberry, all lowercase, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y, sign in. Okay, before you go making any changes to your PyStar configuration, I recommend backing up your existing configuration. And you would do that by going to Backup Restore, click once. If you click on the green arrow under the Download Configuration, it will download to your chosen downloads folder a zip folder. So this would uh, be useful if you make a mistake, you changed something, you can't remember what the original was, and you just need to revert back. You would come into your dashboard, you would go into configuration, you would choose restore configuration, choose the file, you go find the download, and then you select it and it restores your prior flash. So let me just show you, when you click on the green button, Nothing happens until it shows up in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen that there is a download occurring right now. It's the PyStar config that currently exists in my BridgeCom SkyBridge. So let me show you where that's located. For me, it's in my downloads folder. So if I go to downloads, there it is. At 9.16 p.m., I created a backup. All right, so if I needed to restore it, I would choose file and I would come over here and I would pick this PyStar configuration that I just downloaded. I don't want to do that. So let's go to configuration. And we want to go to expert. Click on expert. You get a warning. <laughs> Be careful what you do here, right? If you don't know what you're doing, you'll jack it up pretty bad. So that's why I always recommend uh, doing the backup in case you need to revert to it. You want to go to CSS tool. And right here under background, you want to change this banner color from what the default is. Well, what do you want to change it to? And how do you choose a color? Well, go to Pantone color chart, P-A-N-T-O-N-E color chart, all right? Good old Google, um, let's find a Pantone color. And all of a sudden in front of us are hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of color options we could choose. All right, so as you're looking at this and you drag your mouse over a particular square, you will see there's a Pantone color number there, 2738 space C. Don't use that, it won't work. I like this color right here. Double click it. Brings you to a new page. What you want to choose is this hex slash HTML number. Highlight that number. Now you can jot it down. You can remember it if you can remember six digits and then you can go back to your dashboard and type that in or you can just press control, hold down control and press the C button and all of a sudden I did a copy. Control C equals copy. Go to the dashboard. It's highlighted. So now I'm going to do a control V and that's a paste. Or you just type over top of it. Apply the changes and watch what happens. I love that color. Guess what? That's my new color. Go to my dashboard and there is my new pretty calm blue background color. That's as easy as it gets. So you can pick any color you want there in that Pantone section, uh, Pantone color chart, Google it, 
choose your color, make sure that you select the hex forward slash HTML number, put it into your hotspot area for that particular piece of information. It's as easy as that. How simple can it be? Hope that was helpful to you, friend. I like tips and tricks like this that make life uh, a little bit more custom for how I want to see things, and that's how I like to do videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. 73, friend. Talk to you soon.